hello everyone in this video we are going to solve a numerical uh, related to the uh, calculation of uh, cal uh, capacity of reservoir okay we and we have given these all uh, data and we have to calculate the capacity of a reservoir okay for the irrigation okay so let's see the solution okay and before this uh, if you are new to the channel please uh, like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you will get a regular update and this question is taken from the uh, old question that uh, this question is already asked in Pokhara University in 2014 fall okay and let's see the question uh, determine the capacity of the reservoir we have to cal calculate the capacity of a uh, reservoir if its uh, considerable area is uh, 50,000 hectare and a uh, given considerable area is 50,000 hectare with the help of this data we an, and we have given uh, this data okay that is uh, this is crop this is b and uh, this okay and crops is given in this uh, row okay for which uh, um, day equal to base period is 120 and uh, uh, total area is given 9900 and intensity of irrigation is 25 uh, percent okay for rice 120 1010 for sugar can 3 uh, 30 15 2500 and 15 okay and we have to calculate the total uh, capacity of reservoir okay so for this uh, we can calculate uh, first individually okay then we, we have to add uh, all uh, capacity all uh, required uh, capacity of these all crops okay so uh, let's see the solution so area of each crop under irrigation we use this formula generally ca into uh, area of ir intensity irrigation intensity okay and ca is the uh, generally uh, you can say this is the considerable area okay and uh, now we have to calculate the water required for which uh, for the which whenever uh, you can see here this is the value of uh, base period okay uh, this is the base period column and this is duty okay duty is given uh, for the water uh, required for wheat uh, for the wheat we have to uh, calculate area by duty okay and area is given for wheat is 120 a uh, sorry uh, we have to take uh, area is a uh, total area okay total area given in the question so you can see here in the given question the cost labor area is given 50,000 so area is 50,000 and duty for the wheat is uh, 1900 okay and uh, we have to multiply this value with intensity okay intensity of irrigation that is 25 percent so for 20 percent uh, we have to take uh, value in decimal that is 0 0.25 then the water required for wheat equal to 6.58 similarly water required for rice total area equal to 50,000 uh, by duty duty of rice you can see here duty of rice is 1000 and uh, intensity of rice is 10 percent matlab uh, means 0 0.1 so this value becomes 5 cumic and water required for sugar can as you as uh, these two okay uh, 50,000 by the duty of sugar can we have to take uh, duty of sugar can be why uh, because we are uh, calculating the water for the sugar can so we have to take uh, duty of sugar can you can see here this is a duty uh, column that is 2500 so we have to just take this value and intensity uh, for the sugar can equal to 15 percent so we have to take 0 0.15 then it becomes uh, value of uh, water required for sugar can equal to 3 qmax okay so the volume of water required for within 120 days now we have to calculate for 120 days okay because base period is given in this you can say wheat equal to 120 dash 120 and sugar can 330 okay for this base period we have to calculate a uh, volume okay so volume of water required for wheat in 120 day so we have to just uh, take this value water required into 120 into 25 into 3600 okay then we get this value in uh, 68.22 million meter cube okay and for the volume of water required for sugar can in 330 uh, we have to just uh, take uh, the value of sugar can you can see here we have calculated the value of uh, sugar can 
you can see here sugar cane is 3 okay so we have to calculate just 3 uh, multiply 3 value and uh, base period is taken 330 so we have to just uh, 330 and we have to multiply this uh, 24 into uh, 3600 why we multiply this this is uh, converted into second okay 24 uh, in hour and 36 into uh, minutes and second okay then it this value becomes uh, 85.536 uh, uh, million meter cube or you can say 85.5 into 10 to the power 6 meter cube okay you can uh, that like this now volume of water required for rice in 120 days okay and we have already calculated for the uh, rice 5 we have to multiply 5 uh, with base period and for the rice we have, you can see base period is 120 given in question so 120 and we have to multiply all uh, 24 into 3600 uh, we have multiplied this value in all these uh, given crops okay then its value becomes 51.84 uh, million meter cube okay so now we have calculated a uh, volume of water required for the uh, different uh, crops given in question that is wheat rice and uh, sugar cane okay and this value becomes 68.22 uh, 51.84 and uh, 85.5 okay now we have to calculate uh, total uh, volume okay so we can calculate total volume by the adding of these two uh, these three value okay that is value of uh, total uh, water required for uh, wheat rice and sugar cane okay so total capacity of reservoir equal to uh, we have to calculate uh, this value uh, for the water uh, wheat that is 68.2 for sugar cane 85.5 and for rice 51.8 then this value becomes 205.5 meter million meter cube okay so basically we have to provide a uh, total uh, capacity of reservoir equal to uh, 205.5 million meter cube for the uh, irrigation uh, these types of crop okay so in this way you can calculate uh, the total capacity of reservoir okay and whenever the different uh, crops in this question uh, one we have uh, only given three crops okay so we have to calculate uh, only for three but whenever in the question is given more than three or uh, any any number of crops then we have to calculate for the uh, all types of crop okay and i will show you here uh, okay i have one question here you can see in this question is given for the wheat sugar cane cotton rice vegetable okay so similarly when uh, two now uh, three crops is only given then we have to calculate only for three and whenever uh, we have given uh, this rice and vegetable also then we have to calculate uh, the water required for the rice and vegetable as well okay and then after that we have to add uh, this all capacity okay for the calculating total capacity of reservoir okay in this way we can complete this numerical and in next video we will see uh, the numerical solution of uh, this uh, question okay so thank you very much see you in next video and don't forget to uh, see next video and this question is always asked in different times Pokhara University 18 uh, 19 spring fall okay so this question will be very important so you have to uh, see next next question okay and uh, in next we will we gonna solve this numerical thank you very much see you in next video okay please do like share and subscribe the channel thank you